In March, at the end of winter, the Arctic sea ice reaches its maximum extent, an area almost twice the size of Australia. But over the last few decades, the sea ice has been slowly disappearing. The loss is especially strong in the Barents Sea, where almost half of the sea ice in the last 40 years has disappeared. However, the loss of winter sea ice is not smooth. There are periods where the sea ice retreats very quickly and other periods where the sea ice is expanding. These ups and downs are caused by natural variability. This raises the question, how much does this natural variability influence the sea ice? Could it be that the loss over the last 40 years was entirely natural? The natural variability comes from the interaction with the atmosphere and the ocean. Through the North Atlantic current, the ocean carries heat northward, which influences the sea ice. The atmosphere transports warm or cold air through low and high pressure systems, which create winds. These winds can also push the ice north or southward. To understand how much that influences the sea ice, we use climate models. To estimate the natural variability, we run one climate model many times and introduce slight changes in the beginning of each simulation. The models tell us that the natural variability is very important, but that it cannot explain the observed loss of sea ice alone. The loss over the last 40 years is thus not natural, but because of the increase in greenhouse gas emissions by us humans. Over the last four years, the ice in the Barents Sea increased. We understand that this is not because we stopped emitting greenhouse gases, but due to natural variability.